anaerobic respiration the respiration that occur in absence of oxygen is anaerobic respiration generally anaerobic respiration occur in lower organism in absence of oxygen from one molecules of glucose it produces different type of biochemical substance in plants from one molecules of glucose one molecule of glucose it produces two molecules of ethanol or ethyl alcohol and two molecules of carbon dioxide as by product and it also produces two molecules of adp with the help of two molecules of inorganic phosphate it form two molecules of atp from one molecule of glucose it produces two molecules of carbon dioxide two molecules of atp and two molecules of ethanol or ethyl alcohol in this process it produces from one molecule of glucose to 56 kilocalorie energy in plants and then in animals aerobic respiration occur in the lower organisms from one molecules of glucose in animal body it produces two molecules of lactic acid and two molecules of atp in this reaction oxygen is absence for this reason low amount of atp is produced from one molecules of glucose it produces two molecules of atp in total from one molecules of one molecule of glucose in animal body it produces 56 kilocalorie energy aerobic respiration process aerobic respiration is a biochemical respiration that occur in cell that is why aerobic respiration is generally known as cellular respiration in cellular respiration or in an or in aerobic respiration one molecule of glucose in presence of six molecules of oxygen it produces six molecules of carbon dioxide six molecules of water and 38 atp adenosine triphosphate here enzyme act as a catalyst enzyme act as a catalyst catalyst is a type of biochemical substance that accelerate the rate of reaction and control the activities of the reactions from one molecule of glucose in presence of six molecules of oxygen it produces six molecules of carbon dioxide six molecules of water 38 atp or 600 86 kilo calorie energy there are mainly four steps of aerobic respiration process the steps are first of all glycolysis glycolysis is the first step of aerobic respiration in these steps one molecule of glucose converted into two molecules of pyruvic acid one molecule of glucose is six carbon compound and two molecules of pyruvic acid is three carbon compound from one molecules of six carbon compound produces two molecules of three carbon compound the second step of aerobic respiration is formation of acetyl coenzyme a acetyl coenzyme a coenzyme a is the second step of aerobic respiration process in the second step two molecules of pyruvic acid that is three carbon compound converted into 
two molecules of acetyl CoA that is two carbon compound. Pyruvic acid is a three carbon compound, it converted into two carbon compound acetyl CoA in this process. From two molecules of pyruvic acid converted into two molecules of acetyl CoA and release two molecules of carbon dioxide in this process. The third step of aerobic respiration is Krebs cycle is the most important cycle. It is occur in mitochondria. In the third step, huge amount of energy release from two molecules of acetyl coenzyme A. In these steps, in these steps, two molecules of acetyl coenzyme A produces six molecules of NADH2, a bioenergy, two molecules of FADH2, another bioenergy, one molecule of one molecule of GTP, guanosine and triphosphate, also a bioenergy, and in total, in total, 24 ATP produces in these steps. That is why in these steps our mitochondria call power as of a cell. In the four steps of aerobic respiration is electron transport system. In this step is the last step of aerobic respiration and in this step all the electron transport high potential towards to the lower potential. The short form of electron transport is ETS electron transport system. First two steps occur in the cytoplasm of a cell and the second two steps occur in the mitochondria of a cell. Aerobic respiration occur in presence of oxygen that is why huge amount of energy produced in this process. First two steps occur in cytoplasm of a cell in absence of oxygen occur and the second two steps occur in the mitochondria of a cell and in presence of oxygen last two steps occur for this reason huge amount of energy produced from last two steps of aerobic respiration. Glycolysis. Glycolysis is the first step of aerobic respiration process. In this process, from one molecule of glucose, it produces two molecules of pyruvic acid. In the first step of aerobic respiration, from one molecule of one molecule of glucose produces two molecules of pyruvic acid, and it also produces four molecules of ATP from four molecules of ATP combination with four molecules of inorganic phosphate. With the help of four molecules of inorganic phosphate and four molecules of ATP combinedly form four molecules of ATP. And it also produces two molecules of NADH2 or bioenergy with the combination of hydrogen ion. From one molecule of glucose, it produces four molecules of ATP, two molecules of pyruvic acid and two molecules of nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, two molecules of NADH2, reducing nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. It represented it with the help of NADH2. From from one molecule of glucose, it produces four molecules of ATP, two molecules of inorganic, two molecules of pyruvic acid, and two molecules of NADH2. These two molecules of pyruvic acid transfer to the next step formation of acetyl CoA. Two molecules of pyruvic acid transfer the next step or second step of aerobic respiration named formation of acetyl CoA, acetyl coenzyme A. 
there are mainly four types of bioenergy or biological energy that produce from aerobic respiration process or in animal cell and plant cell or higher organism one molecule of one molecule of nadh to produces three molecules of atp from one molecule of fadh2 or flavin adenine dinucleotide reducing flavin adenine dinucleotide produces two molecules of atp and one molecules of gtp means guanosine triphosphate from one molecules of guanosine triphosphate converted into or equivalent to one molecules of atp so atp and adh2 fadh2 gtp are the bioenergy from this atp is generally known as biological coin because all the storage or releasing energy produces from this atp so nadh2 represented nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide reducing nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide represented it one molecules of nadh2 produces three molecules of atp from one molecules of flavin adenine dinucleotide produces two molecules of atp and one molecules of guanosine triphosphate produces one molecules of one molecule of atp formation of acetyl coa or formation of acetyl coenzyme a it is the third it is the second step of aerobic respiration two molecules of pyruvic acid it produces from the first step of aerobic respiration in the second step of aerobic respiration is the formation of acetyl coenzyme a in this step from two molecules of pyruvic acid it produces two molecules of carbon dioxide two molecules of acetyl coenzyme a and two molecules of nadh2 from one molecule one molecule of pyruvic acid it produces one molecule of carbon dioxide one molecule of acetyl coenzyme a and one molecule of nadh2 so from two molecules of pyruvic acid it produces double two molecules of carbon dioxide two molecules of nadh2 or bioenergy and two molecules of acetyl coa acetyl coa is the two carbon compound or biochemical compound two carbon compound and pyruvic acid is the three carbon compound three from three carbon compound one carbon compound release as carbon dioxide from two molecules of pyruvic acid two carbon compound such as carbon dioxide carbon dioxide two molecules of carbon dioxide release for this reason it produces from three molecules of carbon dioxide pyruvic acid to two molecules of carbon compound named acetyl coenzyme a from two molecules of pyruvic acid it produces two molecules of carbon dioxide from three carbon compound it releases two carbon compound and produces two molecules of nadh2 nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide and it also produces two molecules of acetyl coenzyme a acetyl coenzyme a is a two carbon compound from two carbon compound named acetyl coa two molecules of acetyl coenzyme a it transfer to the next step or third step of aerobic respiration named krebs cycle at the end of the formation of acetyl coa starts 
the third step of aerobic respiration named Krebs cycle. Krebs cycle is the third step of aerobic respiration process. It is also an important process because in this step huge amount of energy bioenergy release. Two molecule of acetyl CoA produce in the second step of aerobic respiration process named formation of acetyl CoA. From two molecules of acetyl CoA it releases coenzyme A because this enzyme act as a catalyst. From one molecule of one molecule of acetyl CoA produces two molecules of carbon dioxide, it releases as byproduct. And it also produces three molecules of NADH2 bioenergy, nicotinamide, adenine, dinucleotide, reducing nicotinamide, adenine, dinucleotide. From one molecule of acetyl coenzyme A release coenzyme A two molecules of carbon dioxide as byproduct and three molecules of NADH2 nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide and it also produces one molecule of ZTP ZTP represented as guanosine triphosphate. One molecule of ZTP equivalent to the one molecule of ATP. And one molecule of one molecule of NADH2 represent or equivalent to the three molecules of ATP. In this process from one molecule of acetyl CoA also produces one molecule of FADH2 or reducing flavin adenine dinucleotide. In the Krebs cycle or third step of aerobic respiration process from one molecule of acetyl CoA produces two molecules of carbon dioxide, three molecules of NADH2, one molecule of GTP and one molecule of FADH2. So from two molecules of acetyl coenzyme A produces six molecules of NADH2 and two molecules of FADH2 and two molecules of GTP and two plus two four molecules of carbon dioxide. So in this process huge amount of energy release three molecule of NADH2 from one molecule of acetyl coenzyme A and from two molecules of acetyl coenzyme A it produces six molecules of NADH2 and one molecule of acetyl coenzyme A produces one molecule of FADH2 so from two molecules of acetyl coenzyme A it produces two molecules of flavin adenine dinucleotide and one molecule of acetyl CoA produces one molecule of GTP from two molecules it produces two molecules of GTP like that one molecule of acetyl CoA produces two molecules of carbon dioxide and from two molecules of acetyl coenzyme A it produces four molecules of carbon dioxide. In this way Krebs cycle complete or accomplish their activities in mitochondria. First two steps occur in cytoplasm.
step cycle and electron transport system these two steps occur in the mitochondria of our organism so in this process huge energy is produced electron transport system is the fourth step of aerobic respiration process in this process all the electrons transport from higher potential towards to the lower potential and all the bioenergy transferred from higher potential towards to the lower potential from one molecule of glucose with the help of glycolysis process it releases two molecules of ATP utilize or entrance these two molecules of ATP utilize first of all energy input for these activities to start the aerobic respiration process or to start the reactions so these two ATP utilize for the following activities all the reactions that accomplish one molecules of glucose activities from one molecule of glucose it produces first of all two molecule of molecules of ATP utilized and two molecules of ATP stored at neat product and in this process from one molecules of glucose one molecule of glucose is a six carbon compound produces two molecules of pyruvate or pyruvic acid pyruvic acid or pyruvate is the three carbon compound one molecule of glucose six carbon compound produces two molecules of pyruvate that is three carbon compound the second step is formation of acetyl coa acetyl coenzyme a is the is the two carbon compound and in this way one pyruvic acid releases one carbon dioxide and from two pyruvic acid releases two carbon dioxide and the first steps of glycolysis release two molecules of nadh to nicotinamide reducing nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide an electron also release during photosynthesis light phase hydrolysis occur during hydrolysis hydrogen ion and oxygen ion products in this way electron is released two molecule of two molecules of pyruvic acid converted two molecules of carbon dioxide two molecules of nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide hydrogen phosphate hydrogen and then two molecules of pyruvate after conversion it transport to the Krebs cycle with the bioenergy name formation of acetyl coa the bioenergy is acetyl coenzyme a is the two carbon compound from two molecules of pyruvate it produces two molecules of NADH2 and two molecules of carbon dioxide release as byproduct and two molecules of acetyl coenzyme A is the two carbon compound transferred to the Krebs cycle in mitochondria in the Krebs cycle from two molecules of acetyl coa produces six molecules of NADH2 reducing nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide and in this way electron also release and it also produces two molecules of flavin adenine dinucleotide reducing flavin adenine dinucleotide so from one molecule one molecules of acetyl coa it produces half number from two molecules of acetyl coenzyme a it produces six molecules of nadh2 
two molecules of flavin adenine dinucleotide and it also release four molecules of carbon dioxide as byproduct from two molecules of acetal coenzyme A it release it release six molecules of NADH2 two molecules of FADH2 and four molecules of carbon dioxide in the electron transport system hydrolysis also occur in this way hydrogen ion and oxygen ion combinedly form water in presence of electron so in this way four molecules of carbon dioxide also produce and two molecules of gtp elaboration of gtp is guanosine triphosphate guanosine triphosphate is equivalent to the two molecules two molecules of guanosine triphosphate is equivalent to the two molecules of atp two molecules of nadh2 in the first step in the second step two molecules of nadh2 and the third step of Krebs cycle it produces six molecules of NADH2 first two steps occur in the first two steps occur in the cytoplasm and second two steps occur in mitochondria mitochondria called power house of cell because huge amount of energy released from the mitochondria now I am trying to explain one molecules one molecules of glucose produces six molecules of carbon dioxide two molecules in the second steps and three four molecules from the third steps of Krebs cycle in total six molecules of carbon dioxide release in the second and third step of aerobic respiration from one molecule of glucose produces 38 ATP, 2 ATP in the first step and in total, in total 10 NADH2 produces 10 into 3, 30 ATP and 2 molecules of flavin adenine dinucleotide produces 4 molecules of ATP, in total 34 ATP and 2 ATP from the first step in total 38 ATP produced from one molecule of glucose in this way electron transport system or four steps of aerobic respiration complete in living organism aerobic versus anaerobic process what are the differences between aerobic respiration process and anaerobic respiration process aerobic respiration process the respiration that occur in presence of oxygen is generally known as aerobic respiration process and the, the respiration that occur in absence of oxygen is generally known as anaerobic respiration in aerobic respiration one molecule of glucose oxidizes with the help of six molecules of oxygen. In presence of enzyme, it produces six molecules of carbon dioxide, six molecules of water, and 38 ATP or 686 kilocalorie energy. And during an anaerobic respiration process, in absence of respiration, is anaerobic respiration during anaerobic respiration from one molecule of glucose converted into in presence of enzyme it produces two molecules of two molecules of ethanol or ethyl alcohol and two molecules of carbon dioxide two atp and 56 kilocalorie energy this anaerobic respiration generally occur in plant and in animal body in the lower organism of animal body in presence one molecules of oxygen in presence of enzyme it produces two molecules of 
lactic acid two molecules of lactic acid two molecules of atp or 56 kilocalorie energy so in the two processes huge amount of energy produced during aerobic respiration process comparatively less amount of energy produces in in aerobic and anaerobic respiration process now what are the differences between aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration mainly topic aerobic respiration and another one is an anaerobic respiration process first of all aerobic respiration generally occur in presence of oxygen is generally known as aerobic respiration and the respiration that occur in absence of oxygen is generally known as an anaerobic respiration oxygen oxygen necessary for aerobic respiration but oxygen not necessary for an anaerobic respiration not necessary so in presence of oxygen it will be aerobic respiration in absence of oxygen it will be an anaerobic respiration stages there are mainly four stages of aerobic respiration four complete stages but there is no four complete stages there is only two stages one complete and another one is incomplete stages are there in the anaerobic respiration and products what are the products are produces during aerobic respiration generally during aerobic respiration process six molecules of carbon dioxide six molecules of water and and 38 atp or 586 kilocalorie energy produces from one molecules of glucose during an anaerobic respiration it produces from one molecules of glucose to two molecules of ethanol or ethyl alcohol in plant body or in animal body two molecules of lactic acid two molecules of carbon dioxide or 56 kilocalorie energy or two atp these are the products of aerobic and anaerobic respiration process amount of energy from one molecules of glucose during aerobic respiration process 696 kilocalorie energy produces and an anaerobic process 56 generally more or less 56 kilocalorie energy produces from one molecules of one molecule of glucose and during aerobic respiration process during aerobic respiration or pyruvic acid oxidize oxidation of pyruvic acid completely oxidize in aerobic respiration but there is no complete oxidation in the anaerobic respiration in complex oxidation occur during anaerobic respiration because second stage of anaerobic respiration is inco incomplete for this reason incomplete pyruvic acid oxidation occur in the anaerobic respiration process ATP adenosine triphosphate generally 38 ATP produced during aerobic respiration process from one molecules of glucose and from one molecules of glucose during an anaerobic respiration only two ATP produces because it is occur generally in absence of oxygen in the lower organisms and huge amount of energy like 38 ATP produced during aerobic respiration process what are the examples of aerobic respiration or what are the organism that take place this respiration process all higher organism like plants and animals this aerobic respiration occur the organism that can intake intake oxygen all higher plants and animals accomplish these activities or aerobic respiration process generally lower organisms such as bacteria yeast etc are the organism that that take place this type of respiration and anaerobic respiration so these are the differences between aerobic and anaerobic respiration process